Hi everyone, my name is Mark Moykins from Big Mount Studio, and today I'm going to teach you how to customize the segment control. And this is just a, a little UI tip, and it's not very detailed because really with the default segment control, there's not a lot of ways you can really customize this control. So this is going to be really quick. And as you can see right now, I have this application, and let me show you how it works. Okay, it's just a menu. So you can click on these three different types or four different types of foods and it brings up a different menu. And you see there's a, a nice animation here when it loads the table view. And these, they just repeat the, the a couple of the other, yeah, the chicken, right? So there's a the chicken, there's the hot dogs, and there's the different kebabs. I don't have any desserts. I didn't have time to load it up with pictures and a sample menu, but you get the idea. So we want to dress up this segment control here because it doesn't really fit the application it doesn't really doesn't really look good so let's see what we can do the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color to it so I already have some colors already selected yeah so what I want to do is I want to change the tint because the tint is the the blue this bright blue color now what I could do to give it a nice uniform look is I can make it the same color as the title but you don't really want to do that because Apple kind of recommends that you choose a separate color for items that are actionable. So if this is the same color as the title, well, you know you can interact with a segment control. So it might lead the user to think that you can also interact with the title and click on the title and something will happen. So having your controls that you can interact with the same color as other elements that you can't interact with is not a good idea. So what we want to do is we actually want to choose a different color. And I have a color saved right here, this gold color. So this color will now designate all the controls that are interactable, that you can interact with. Okay, good. So we have our color there. And that might look a little bit better, but we want to customize this further. And for me, you know, maybe if this is like an international application or I need to you know, say it's a restaurant that is near the border of Mexico, and so I need a Spanish and an English. Well, maybe I don't want I have to worry about the translation, so maybe just pictures will be better. So I have some pictures actually already loaded, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the segment control, and if you select each segment up here, you can change attributes about that one segment. So this is segment zero, this is the one that says kebab, and right now it says kebab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an image instead. And uh, let's see, oh, skewer, that's right, I named it skewer. Okay, now if you look at this image, it's bigger than the segment control. And you notice the segment control doesn't have a height. I can't change the height of it. There's no handles that I can grab and change. But that doesn't mean you can't change the height. You can change the height. There's just a little trick to it. What you have to do is give it a height constraint. It's not very obvious. So let's go with 70. Yeah, that's good. And that's the only way I know to, to expand it, to give it, to make it higher, to give it a, a height constraint. So that's what we did right here, is give it this constraint right here. Now, uh, let's fill in pictures with the rest of them. And that's another thing, with, the, with this segment control, I don't think there's a way where you can include a title the text and an image. So you're just gonna to have to go with one or the other. Okay, we got our hot dog and we want chicken. We're gonna go with this drumstick, that's gonna represent chicken. And then we need something for desserts. And we have this dessert image right here. Okay, good. So we have our images here and let's see how that looks. Okay, there you go. See, this looks looks way cooler than just the, the plain text, having icons instead. And I think one of the things that I'm going to do too is I'm going to have the menu kind of look like it comes down from the segment control. So what I'll do is I'll click on this table view and I'll click on uh, this constraint right here that separates the two of them. And instead I'm going to make it a negative, like a negative 12. There we go. Now you see a problem here though. What happens is you can see the table view right through the segment control. 
because it has a clear background. Well, we can fix that by giving the segment control a solid background. So let's select the segment control. And let's go down here to the background. And we're going to select, uh, let's see, I have a color already set up here. There we go. That's the same color as the background. So now it, you can't see things shine through or come through the background of the segment control. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there's just some quick tips on how you can customize the segment control a little bit. Like I said, this is a UI tip because there's, there's really not much you can do. It's, it's really restricted, I found, the segment control. I have created my own custom segment controls in the past, and I'll show you an example here. Right here. This is just a GIF, and this is a segment control that I created uh, from scratch. I, I created it from, from nothing. It's just some UI views, and I made it really simple so you can customize uh, how many elements you want up in your segment control, and you can define the colors. So if you guys are interested, leave a comment below if you want to learn how to do something like that. I think there's some other videos on YouTube that, that have something very similar to this. But like I said, if you want to see how I did it, I made it super simple and reusable. So if you're interested in that, leave a comment below. And one more thing. If you guys are interested in how this animates going up like this, well, I have another video coming out on Thursday, which should complete my series that I have on prototyping and Xcode. And there's some animation on the table rows. So if you guys want to just hold on till Thursday, you'll see animations on that. If you guys can't wait, Brian Advent has a video that shows you how to animate the table rows. So look for Brian Advent. He has a great channel. I recommend you guys subscribe. And he will show you how to animate these rows. I actually learned this from him. All right, thanks, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing because I keep trying to come out with more tips. I try to come out with them every week. And if you want to help out my channel, you can also click on the the more button, the three dots next to the share button, and you can click on the translate and you can translate the title and description for this video. So if you're watching it, you know, in a, from a different country and you want to translate it to your native language, that would be awesome. That would really help out my channel and help out everyone else in your country to help better find my videos. Thanks guys.